It's impossibly impressive, a very great achievement. But one of the things we must celebrate is that 100 years ago, a funny-looking little fellow with flyaway hair trained his powerful brain on the universe and imagined what might be true and was right. Yesterday, I picked up the paper, I still have a paper to pick up, and read about a man who did see into the future, Albert Einstein. He developed his theory of general relativity in the early 20th century, and in 1915, he announced his theory that space and time are woven together, and that events in the universe can cause space and time to move, to bob and jiggle, stretch and ripple. Einstein's ideas overturned previous ones of an orderly universe where planets and solar systems revolved in a calm and eternal magnificence. And this particular notion of space and time moving was, you might say, out there, not possible to observe. Now, a hundred years later, this most mysterious piece of Albert Einstein's imaginings has reached out to scientists on Earth in the form of a chime, a chirp, a sound, which one side has described as what you might hear if you ran your thumb over piano keys from the lowest rumbly bass to middle C. A chirp in C, which left a distant part of the universe more than a billion years ago and rippled outward, beginning a journey to a very different Earth. <laughs> 